What's up guys, it's Frock for Duck. So, one day I got bored and I decided to make this. What is this? Well, this is one of my older laptops, but with the components all taken out and nailed to a board. I got bored one day, and uh, no, no pun intended. I originally just disassembled the laptop because it was starting to break, uh, and then I thought halfway through, hey, maybe I could turn this into a video. A and then I was like, oh, I'm too far into this to make it a video, but now I think I might be able to because my thought process is, can I take these components and put it in a cookie tin? Uh, the original plan was to put that motherboard into like a box of something, kind of like a Mac Mini, and just make a tiny little laptop. Considering the original laptop was like 15 inches, this will be a smaller footprint significantly. I was thinking about making my own housing, but that is kind of hard. The best option would probably be to make it out of wood, which I looked into, but then I don't really have the power tools for it. But then I sort of came up with the idea, hey, maybe a cookie tin, because these things are made of metal, so they'd be kind of sturdy. Uh, they're long, you know, they're like wide, but also kind of shallow, so it, it's a nice small footprint. So I'm gonna see if maybe I can put this PC in this cookie tin. Uh, and we have this nice Italian decoration too as well, uh, just to make things look nice, I guess. So let's see what we're gonna be able to do here. All right, first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna unplug all the components. So here is the network card, we'll unplug that. This here is the power button. A lot of these are attached with uh, double-sided tape. Uh, we're also gonna take off this little adapter here, which sort of bridges the SD card reader and the second USB port. We're also unplugging the SATA drive here, the SATA port. Uh, we're also gonna unplug the thing for the DVD drive. We're just gonna grab a screwdriver right here and we're just gonna unscrew this board. Take this out. Uh, we're gonna unplug the fan as well. All right, can this board fit in the cookie tin? So let's find out. So, board, cookie tin. I kind of did some measurements. It is going to be quite tight. Uh, if need be, I was planning on cutting the tin, uh, I, you know, so you can access the ports. So we'll just open this up here. Okay, board, cookie tin. It fits. It fits almost perfectly. Look at that. Oh my god. Uh, what about this way? Oh, okay. This way might actually be the way to go. Come on, guys. This fits in perfectly both ways. You can't tell me this isn't meant to be. I honestly think it might be better to go this way simply because of all of the uh, plugs here. Um, so I'll be able to plug it in and not have it run against the edge. What I originally wanted to do was actually have it sort of go 90 degrees, but I don't think I'll be able to because of these adapters here. I even wanted to use like a longer one, but some of these aren't intercompatible. This right here is actually the boot drive for this computer. And um, I mean, come on, come on guys, <laughs> look at that. You can't tell me that this isn't meant to be. And then, yeah, what you do is just have that on there, and then you connect it together. And then, of course, I'd like attach some bracket or something to hold the SSD in. We're just, we're just gonna prototype this here, guys. All right, so I have the fan here. Uh, the fan slots in right there. I mean, <laughs> yep. Now we will have to include the power adapter here, uh, simply because the battery for this is you know, longer than this tin, because it's made for a 15 inch laptop. Uh, but the plug here is also on the bottom, so hypothetically, you could cut out a little slot and then buy one of the 13 inch batteries, like for the 13 inch model, and jam it on the side here. But I don't think we're gonna do that. I think it's gonna run like a Mac Mini, because I don't really see a reason to make it uh, battery powered. Also, the network card would go here. Oh yeah, that's just unplugged. Uh, there we go, that's plugged back in, and I reckon if we just turn this around so it doesn't hit the edge, that should be good. So that plugs in and usually you'd have some link that would, um, that you'd screw on the end here to tie it down. That is still possible, you can do that with like, if I like mount something into here. And then this is the actual antenna, so that's the antenna for the Wi-Fi. Uh, just, I don't know, stick that there. <laughs> Anywhere, honestly. This whole thing would also act as a conductor, I like to think for the antenna, so this whole box would become the antenna. Or you could even use the lid if you want. Which is good because the lid also protects it from dust. But like, 
you can open it up and work on it, which is kind of cool. Other than that, I don't think there's much else. Uh, of course, I'm going to need to find a place to put the power button, which goes here. Uh, I'm thinking I could try, like, mounting it on the side here and having the cable go here, because then you could just press a button here, have your ports, or even mount it here where the VGA port isn't, because uh, what's funny is that there's traces on the board for a VGA port, there's a little divot in the actual design of the laptop to have a VGA port, but there is no VGA port, which is kind of stupid. I guess we could put the power button here. I mean, considering we'd already be cutting out so much on this side, I'm, I'm even thinking I might just cut out an entire section here, which, could, which could make sense. So these are the speakers. The speakers can go here, I reckon, or somewhere, anywhere. I mean, if we're run, if we're gonna run this as like a server kind of thing, I don't really think you'd need the speakers. However, if you want to make this like a Mac Mini replacement, then maybe the speakers can be kind of useful. If we just kind of just kind of prototype this, I mean, it closes. So as long as it closes, that's sort of the main uh, the main challenge with this. It would have to plug into this port right here and probably up here honestly next to the fan if we just kind of push this to the side a bit we might be able to slot this in vertically yeah look at that look at that oh that's perfect so there you go that's that's where the power adapter could be however it is on a corner and i don't really know about cutting the edge here it that might not go so well other than that i don't really think there's much else to consider the only issue i can really see is just the connection for the drive simply because that is a 90 degree bend we'll have to do in this ribbon cable but i mean some of these other ones like this cable right here is actually bent at a 90 degree angle so it is possible all right so i was trying to uh, mount the drive into the cookie tin pc right here and well actually plugging it in you can see yeah it's not going to go exactly where i want it which might be a problem no, that, that is a problem. Uh, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this now. I mean, I guess I can, I can mount it like this, but that's not very good. I could actually plug this in here and then put it underneath, but also, but yeah, my main concerns are the drive and this. If, okay, if there was a way to have it mounted like this and then have it plug in like that, then that's perfect. That is literally perfect. So it might actually be possible. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today is the 31st of December 2021, the last day of 2021, and I just got a package. And what's in this package? Ooh, a ribbon cable. Now, I don't know if this is going to be the right ribbon cable, because I tried to find the right one online and I'm hoping that I did. So now, it's a big reveal. Let's open up this cookie tin and let's see if it's the right ribbon cable. And already, that is looking really promising. So simply the fact that I have this, if this is the right ribbon cable and if this works, then this whole project can officially continue. All right, let's take that one out. And now let's put in this new one right here, this new longer one. It's ever so slightly different. This one is shorter, but I have no reason to think that wouldn't work because it's only shorter. No, sorry, the new one's actually longer than the old one. So in that case, wouldn't that work a little bit better? But I mean, the pins are all in the exact same locations, the same width, so I don't see any reason for it to like not work, but that holds on perfectly. Okay, this is now the big test. We've got to go get the screen. All right, guys, here we have the um, motherboard for the cookie tin PC. Just, it's, it's chilling right here. Uh, and I believe it's this cable here that we got to open. Okay. That seems to be connected, so now you can see just how much longer this ribbon cable is and hopefully it should support it. Now, because I really don't have any like HDMI monitors conveniently available for me to just poach right now, we're actually going to be using the original laptop screen. Now, when I turn this on, you will notice why uh, we don't really use this, because it's practically broken at this point. And then in order to plug this in, we basically got to slide this little ribbon cable in, so let's go do that. Yep, that's now plugged in. We put the fan back. No, wait, we flip that over. Okay, we put the fan back. So without further ado, let's plug in the battery and hope nothing explodes. But I think also that would be kind of funny and would make for some great content. All right, and now theoretically, possibly, 
with just the push of this button here, this thing should spring to life, but we'll see if it does. The fan is spinning up there. Oh, okay. Boot device is not found. That is... That's bad. But yeah, you guys can see how this screen's failing, but yeah. Alright, so the old shorter ribbon cable has now been put in, and we're going to fire this thing up. And will it work? Oh, it works. Alright, I'm going to try a few more times to see if I can get this working. If I can't, then we're back to square one, I guess. Alright, today is the 13th of January, 2021, and it's here. The ribbon cable, the one on both sides. Why didn't the old one work? Because because the, the connectors were on separate sides, which meant that the cable had different polarity. So let's get this thing set up. So we're just going to plug this in, and how does it plug in? It plugs in pretty well. Now we've done that, we can just take this, plug it in. And now that that's plugged in, look how long that is, you know, we can comfortably comfortably put that next to it and it'll fit perfectly in the tin but uh, we are going to now try this see if it works the cookie tin PC whether it lives or dies will now rely on this will it work keyboard here lights up and press sensor boot device not found cool cool it doesn't work Wait, testing drive 1? It's detecting something. It's passed. Testing drive 1. What drives are here? Just this. That makes no sense at all. Hey, we have some... kind of good news? But also some bad news. The kind of good news is that with the old ribbon cable, it's still not finding the hard drive, so this might not be bad after all. Bad news is that the old one's not detecting the hard drive, and that's that's not good. That's that's not good at all. That's that's a really bad sign. That means we won't be able to use this thing at all. Okay, holy shit! It detect it it detected the drive. It just detected it, but it just disconnected. So this does work. Ladies and gentlemen, I have gotten it to work. Unfortunately, the problem was it was stuck on the automatic repair thing. So I plugged it in with this, let it just boot normally, and then I just booted it again and here we are. We have a fully working drive. The cookie tin PC lives. Although it does take an awful amount of time to boot up because this probably doesn't support the fast speeds that this little Thing here supports. It's a little bit slow, but honestly, at this point, I'm just happy that I've, I've been able to get this thing to work. I thought I thought part one of this video was going to be a bad ending, but it has actually turned out to be pretty good. So that's been part one of the Cookie Tin PC. Uh, my name's Frog for Duck, and we'll be back for the other part of the Cookie Tin PC. That's the end of the video for now. Thanks for watching. Thank you.